Happy 2024 fam. Today I'm going to show you what I have on my hook for this year and I got so many vouchers at Christmas time so I'm going to take you shopping with me and we'll go buy some really fun yarn together. So let's go shopping first. All right we are here. We're just going to go and walk across the road together. This is the store. It's called the Wool Inn. I had a lot of fun in this store. Most of the yarns that they have here are actually in skeins. So I've never, I've never seen skeins before or they have these like fun rainbow kind of different colors and they have a bunch of different textures as well. They have thicker yarns, thinner yarns, silk yarns. They had some really beautiful mohairs. I had an idea that maybe I thought I wanted to make a top. So I found this color and I'm just putting it against myself to see if I want to top this color or not but then I decided to go ahead with this pink yarn and because it's in a skein they have to ball it up for me so they've gone ahead and attached it to this machine and if you haven't seen it before it's really interesting like I just I was mind blown because I didn't know that skeins were just like this really long it, it, it's not a ball like you can't work from it so they're gonna ball it up for me while we're waiting for this I decided I wanted to go get some candy I love milk duds comment below what your favorite candy is and this is the color yarn that I got all balled up and we're back okay that wasn't as much of a haul as I thought it was gonna be I honestly thought that I would just be grabbing all kinds of yarns off the shelf and just going absolutely crazy but I have a lot of yarn you guys I have a lot of yarn so and I'm also like working on projects as it is so I just got the one ball and it's really thin I think it's like two ply I never I think I might have said but I've never seen I've never bought a skein before so I didn't actually know. So even when I was peeing at the counter, they were like, oh, do you want us to wrap it in a ball for you? And I was like, what, what difference does it make? I can just work from that. And she kind of looked at me like, are you crazy? And then she unraveled it and showed me and it's just like a big, big ring of yarn. So I would have just, it would have been a mess. So I'm glad that they put that in a ball for me. I don't know what I'm gonna make with it yet. And I think that was my other problem. I have so many works in progress on my hook already that I'm like I'll do a little bit of this one put it down I'll do a little bit of this one and I'll put it down that I was like I don't I don't even know what to make because I'm already making so many different things so we'll go back and we'll have a proper haul when I'm ready when maybe I use up some of the yarn that I already have but it just didn't <laughs> I just wasn't reaching for things as I thought I was going to be. So we're going to save that for another day. So I'm going to show you what I have on my hook right now. I am working on like four different projects right now. So I have a tote bag that I'm working on. I think that this one will be really cute. There will be a tutorial coming for this one. But a little cute tote bag. I wanted it to be super big so that I can fit everything in. And maybe it'll even be like my little work in progress like travel bag. The second thing that I'm working on is my mumsy saw. Look at him with his dinosaur. He's so, aw, I better get it. Hold on, you angel. The second thing that I'm working on is my mumsy saw. This like floral kind of design blanket when she was shopping in Spotlight. And she wanted to make it, she didn't know how. I reached out to like a few of my friends. I was like, do you know what pattern this is? What's going on? Um, and it's just like, it's called yo a yo-yo flower or something, a yo-yo. I don't know, but I'll, I'll make a video on it too if, you're, if you guys are interested. But I'm making this blanket for her. So uh, it's just an arrangement of these different flowers. It's like pretty spacey, but I think it'll be really cute. I think it would take a while though. <laughs> like it's really easy and I can do this while I'm like reading on my Kindle. Uh, but I think it'll take a while. Speaking of my Kindle, I'm so obsessed. I am so obsessed. I really truly never thought that if you have already watched my video for my Kindle cover, I mentioned there, I didn't think that I would ever be an ebook 
girly but it is so good i can do everything while it's just there in my lap and it's just so convenient and i don't need to worry about losing my page so at the moment i am reading the legacy of gods it's like a series by rena kent the first one i was like mm. <laughs> What's going on here? Like the the first chapter like really gets you. Like I also didn't think that I would be a dark romance reader. Um, and then, you know, but I keep gravitating towards them. I think at one point I was reading, I don't know what I was reading, but I was reading something and I was like, this is like a little bit juvenile. <laughs> and maybe I got a bit upset because, you know, it's my birthday next month and I'm, I'm turning 30. I'm having like a midlife crisis. Anyway, I was reading this book and I was like, this is like a little bit juvenile. I don't know how I got into the dark romance world, probably bloody TikTok. But got into it, didn't think that I would like it. And there's some questionable things that have me thinking, are my morals, <laughs> are my morals okay right now? Big stretch, oh my goodness. So anyway, I've been really into books. Now, I also really love to write. So I've been writing a little bit more, which is a bit exciting. I haven't written a story in a long time. It's been years, like years since I've last been at my keyboard, just like typing away like a mad woman. But I have a story that I'm loving writing right now. And it's, I'm up to 15,000 words. But 2024 guys, year of growth. I've put it out there in the universe now. So now you guys know, you can help keep me accountable and make sure that I'm on track with, you know, getting my words out and achieving my goals. Because maybe, no, maybe not a maybe. I wanna publish this one. I'm putting that out there now. So you guys hold me accountable. It's out in the universe. Let's manifest it. But uh, my other work is in progress. Oh, my mind. My mind is just always everywhere and all at once. I have a grey cardigan that I want to make, but I haven't decided if I wanted to be a v-neck or a pullover and I keep changing it because I was like, oh, maybe I want it to be ribbed. And then I was like, I've made so many ribbed things lately. I don't think I want it to be ribbed. So then I undid it all. And now that's just kind of sitting there. So that's on my hook as well, but I haven't really been prioritizing it. I also think it's because it's really, really hot here. I know I've, I'm trying you guys. I'm trying to make you guys all of the things that, you know, suit your weather, but I'm struggling. It's really hard when it's like, hot AF outside or inside even. And then I'm like, oh, let's make a sweater. It doesn't make sense for me. Oh, I got this really big, white, fluffy yarn from New Zealand as well when I went there last year with my mom, Z. And I was gonna make a blanket with it because I just thought it would be such a nice lush throw. And I thought that it would be enough yarn. I truly did. But I got maybe halfway through that bundle of yarn and I was like, it's not gonna be big enough. And I wanted a, like a, a decent throw. So that's still kind of sitting there half done. <laughs> uh, I will undo it and I think I wanna make, I, I think I will make like a really lush uh, pullover or cardigan with that. I don't know if I want it to be a turtleneck or I don't know if I wanna go back to that yarn store and get some black roving and make like a black and white kind of like zigzaggy designed cardigan with that one. So stay tuned, we'll see what we'll see what happens. I don't know. My green top, my green mosaic top, which is also from that yarn from New Zealand. I have some of that yarn left. I wanted to make a little shrug. I wanted to make some long sleeves to go with it. So I am in the process of making that one. I'll probably make a tutorial for it too. I almost nearly forgot. I've been making a granny square dress inspired by my skirt that I made because my sense of fashion is really like, I like things that are easy and I like things that I can just throw on. So I was like, I want to make a dress because that's, it's hot here. So that'll be really good. So I made a bunch of granny squares. They're all black and white alternative and I'm gonna make a dress with that one. All right, and that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a comment down below if you wanna see more. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I just love having conversations with you guys. I get 
the butterflies that I feel when you guys message me or when you send me pictures of what you've created is amazing. So I'm gonna leave my Instagram down below. Make sure you give me a follow. Send me pictures of you wearing things or creating things or if you have any questions at all, happy to help. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye.